Hi, my name is Sterling Smith, and for my corporate crisis report, I will be talking about the Bud Light controversy. So this whole topic began on April 1st, when a social media influencer named Miss Mulvaney made a video post on the app Instagram, promoting Bud Light for a contest. Miss Mulvaney has many followers on Instagram and TikTok, and has been documenting her transition, mainly her one-year celebration of what she likes to call her days of girlhood. Once she posted about her Bud Light promotion, it was during the NCAA March Madness, and Bud Light was sponsoring her a $15,000 giveaway. She brought up the fact that Bud Light also sent her a tall boy can with her face on it once this was all released, helping her celebrate her one-year transition. In the month of April, there were many boycotts and rioting beginning to happen. This was the turn of events for the crisis. Launching all this chaos, some of the most well-known musicians tried to voice their opinion against the transgender community. For example, Kid Rock, a very famous singer, uploaded a video of him shooting a stack of Bud Light cans. Going back to boycotts, Bud Light critics targeted the brands and portfolios of products, mainly Budweiser, Bush, Stella Artois, Michelob Ultra, and Ho Garden. Others decided to share films of them shooting and lighting beer boxes on fire. After most of Bud Light's decline, the beer's brewer, Anheuser-Busch, declared that two workers were taking a leave of absence. The safety of our employees is always our top priority, an Anheuser-Busch spokesperson said to CNN. The Los Angeles Police Department also announced that there was a bomb threat, so they directed a sweep of the whole brewery in Van Nuys neighborhood. In recent months after this, the Bud Light has lost its spot as the top selling beer brand. Bud Light, among many other brands, including Target and Adidas, have been in point with a small section of people who prey on the LGBTQ plus consumers. The anti-woke boycott then spilled over to several other major brands, not just the beer industry. In the months since the initial backlash began, Bud Light has become a lightning rod for a much larger conversation about brands and social values. So Mulvaney took a break from TikTok after posting a video on April 1st, but then returned April 27th to address the harassment that the transgender community has received. But then on April 14th, Anheuser-Busch CEO, Brandon Whitworth, released a statement on the company's website, wrote about the importance of accountability and taking responsibility for ensuring every consumer feels good. He then concluded, moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to the consumers of our nation. Conventional wisdom holds that controversies blow over news cycles cycle, and a noisy protesters eventually quiet down. Yet five weeks into the debacle, sales of Bud Light continue to plummet. Year over year, sales are down 17% since 2022. All signs indicate that the Bud Light controversy isn't going away. Most businesses see the report on a quarterly or on an annual basis, but Bud Light sales are issued on a weekly basis. The numbers are reported by a trade publication, mostly based on liquor stores, convenience stores, and supermarkets. Here's a different kind of example. Imagine if you're at a party and you had a Bud Light drink in your solo cup. Nobody would recognize if it was Coors Light or Miller Light, nor do consumers care about the taste generally. Bud Light's relaxed, basic, and general appeal was their appeal, but that's all gone now. So that's likely why Bud Light's sales have dropped. Coors Light and Miller Light have sales risen 20.5% and 21%. So there's really only one more reason why Bud Light sales have dropped. And there's a statement on foxnews.com saying that for every kid rock shooting, bullets in a Bud Light or gay bars dumping the brand for not being LGBTQ friendly, Anheuser-Busch's CEO then said, the beer itself should not be the focus of the debate, yet it is. So in conclusion, this crisis has clearly shown on a credible websites and news that it's not quite over yet. People are still boycotting the situation and it will continue for many years.
Thank you.